Hello everyone. Thanks for joining me. We've completed 100 plus subscribers to this channel and I'm really happy and I'm really thankful to all the subscribers to this channel for their love and support. Uh, tonight, luckily, it's going to be clear skies. <laughs> Honestly, it's been almost 15 to 20 days around. I've not taken any photos of the sky on the deep sky object. So tonight, that's what we're uh, we going to do. So let's uh, let's get started. So what do we do in astrophotography? The first step is what we do is do planning. So what are we going to shoot? What are the target we're going to look at? So to plan on that, what we use is Stellarium. Uh, not all the astrophotographers use Stellarium, but majority of them do. I personally use this program. So it's an open source uh, program which is used to look at the deep sky objects uh, using using the, your computer. Basically, you feed in your latitude, longitude, all your details in, and then and you also you can feed in your telescope details, your camera sensor sizes, the microns, and all, all all those stuff. And then when you choose a target, you can actually see how it will look like when you take an image of that, uh, when you take a photograph of that particular deep sky object. So that's what we're going to look at. So I've just ran this program uh, which is called Celerim. I'm going to fast forward the timing. Uh, maybe I'll push to around 10, 10 o'clock, maybe 9.30 to 10 o'clock and see uh, which deep sky object is above the horizon and uh, like in, into my field of view basically. So that's what we're going to do. Oh, here we go. I'm going to fast forward this. Okay, 8, 8, 9, quick, 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 9.30, 10 o'clock. All right, 10 o'clock. I'm going to put the grids on. Uh, I'm going to select the deep sky object, this one over here. Did that, all right. So that's the south pole. Uh, that's the uh, south direction. And now we are looking at uh, a nebula. Uh, which is Terentilla Nebula, which is in southeast. Uh, the reason I'm shooting in southeast tonight is because uh, this, the moon is going to be way too late to rise. So we'll get that uh, at least two hours of exposure time on this target. Uh, we're going to just select this and have a look how this looks like on the sensor size. I'm pretty sure this is this will be amazing. All right, yeah. Look at that. The chip sensor of the camera is going to like cover up the entire entire nebula. So this is what we're shooting tonight. Uh, turn into the nebula, NGC 2070. Now let me go and show you what all equipments I'll be using tonight to shoot this target. All right, so that's my mount. Uh, that's an equatorial mount which is uh, Saxon made HEQ5 Pro. I'll be using uh, my telescope which is a uh, William Optics GT71 triplet APO refractor which is 419 millimeters of focal length. Uh, it, I'm, 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 I've already attached a focal reducer and a flattener which is 0 0.8 times uh, focal reducer and a field flattener. Well, that will bring down that 419 mm focal length to 336 mm focal length. On top of that, if you see, I'm using a SV Boney uh, guide scope, which is of a 50 mil guide scope, which is 214 mm focal length. Uh, on on back of it, if you see, that's a ASI 120 mm mini guide camera. That's a monochrome. And the main camera, which I'll be sh using to shoot the torrent, uh, torrental nebula is 183MC Pro Color Cool Camera, which can go down to minus 40 degrees on the chip sensor if you use the application and set the cooling aid. Now, this is the mini computer which, I'm, which I was talking about. This is the ASI Air Pro, which connects with your mobile device to, you know, to plan, uh, to do polar alignment, to do the auto run. To take all your subs like your light frames and all that things yeah so this is my rig uh, I've not connected all the cables so it looks neat and tidy right now but once all the cables are connected it'll be a bit messy <laughs> that's for sure all right so 
let's go out uh, let's, let's take this thing out and set it up all right and that'll be a quick time lapse thanks So this target NGC3372 not be possible. Alright, so I'm gonna use the search window in this application it says tonight's best and it shows all the planets, all the nebulas and everything which is available to be shot tonight. Alright, so I'm gonna just let me try searching it. It says triangular me. Okay, triangular no. Very low. This guy, 2070, that's right. Cool, that's what we want. Choose, go, and let's say go to. See the mount is now going to search for the target. So the target is at 5 hours 38 minutes. So it's validating the stars, making sure uh, that the mount is you know, perfectly centered. Oh, sorry, the scope is perfectly centered. Let's validate center or not, and it's now plate solving. Target it centered. Excellent. Finish. That's done. Okay, uh, let's go and do the focusing. Tap here to start focusing. Yes. Okay, okay, yep, I know that. Ah, oh, look at that, that's beautiful. That's really amazing, that's a five second show. Let me increase the exposure to ten seconds. Start focusing. Just wide in the center. I don't want this window over here. I'll move it. Let's see. Right to the, oh, that's beautiful. I know it's not looking that great right now on the mobile screen, but trust me, when we take the snaps or when we take capture it, it'll be looking awesome for sure. 